I know now she's in a very good place with that disease of dementia. Um, you know, asking her to stay uh, alive for another 10 years is not um, fair to her. Glenn Miller was friends with Joyce Fairbairn and volunteered as her driver for close to 20 years. So it was a privilege for me to uh, be mentored by her in many ways based on her experience in life work. Fairbairn was born in Lethbridge in 1939 and worked as a journalist in the Parliamentary Press Gallery in Ottawa. She later became the legislative assistant for former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau in 1970. In 1984, Trudeau appointed her as a Liberal Senator for her home province of Alberta. Miller says Fairbairn referred to herself in the press gallery as the first female newsman. When they had their annual event, initially she wasn't invited because she was female. Um, but that things has changed. I think she's become a role model for many who have entered in, uh, in, in breaking glass ceilings, not just in politics, but in other endeavors. And uh, she can be proud of that part of her legacy. The Senator Joyce Fairbairn Middle School in Lethbridge opened in 2018 in honor of the former senator. Earlier in March, the school held its Medal of Honor ceremony celebrating the students that most embody Fairbairn. They are students who are inclusive, who are academic, who are um, uh, basically uh, anything you could possibly think of in terms of a well-rounded individual. We honor, oh, anywhere from five to maybe 10, maybe more students a year with this special award. Fairbairn was also inducted into the Canadian Paralympic Hall of Fame in 2011 for the role she played in supporting the sport of Paralympics. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.